Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and I've just put the kids to bed, and I'm supposed to be sitting down and having a bit of a relaxing time, but there's news, ladies and gentlemen, there's news I need to share with you. You see, Van Gogh Pikachu, Pikachu with grey felt hat. Oh, it's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's back. Remember how the other day I told you... <laughs> the other day. Remember how I told you multiple times, including in an entire video, not to pay the ridiculous eBay prices for Pikachu with grey felt hat? That Pokemon were going to go out of their way to make sure we were going to get this and it was going to be printed into the ground? That the eBay prices were absurd? Remember all that stuff? Yeah. Me too, ladies and gentlemen. Me too. And look. It was only the other day, and, and I know we had some cancelled orders, right? I showed you the other day some orders are being cancelled. We'll, we'll talk about that more in a minute. That was very sad. And it's not all perfect news. It's not all the news we want. There are some downsides here. However, we'll get to all of them. But I showed you this from Pokemon the other day, where they said very clearly, due to overwhelming demand, all our products from this collection have sold out. We understand this is disappointing to many who are looking to our official email and social media channels for guidance on how and when to purchase. We are actively working on ways to provide more Pikachu with grey felt hat promo cards for fans shopping at Pokemon Center in the future. Details will be released at a later date. Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially a later date. And that means that we do have news about the fact that it's coming. And it is coming, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially coming. Here's what Pokemon have said. Fans shopping at Pokemon Center will soon receive another opportunity to obtain the Pikachu with Grey Felt Hat promo card. Trainers will receive one Pikachu with Grey Felt Hat promo card with a Pokemon Center order containing Pokemon trading card game products while supplies last. Minimum purchase of $30 in qualifying Pokemon TCG items required, limited to one promo card per order. It's not 100% clear, and I did misread as myself initially, but I believe that means that you have to have $30 of TCG stuff in order to get the promo. I'm a man who loves my pins, and I was hoping to get a pin or two in my order in addition to some TCG stuff. But no, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that you have to actually have $30 of TCG stuff actually in your basket. And as a side note, generally speak, and again, I, I can't say for certain this time, but usually when they have these promotions at the Pokemon Center, what they do is they actually automatically put the promo in your basket when you check. So my advice, and this is what I'm doing personally, unless you see other people reporting differently, in which case, fine. But what I'm planning to do personally is not actually check out unless I see the promo in my basket. What I don't want to do is go and spend 30 quid on Pokemon stuff and then find out the promo goes live an hour or two later. Hey, hang on a second, Wilson. You just showed us a US tweet. You're in the UK. What's going on? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It is confirmed for the UK Pokemon Center as well. Uh, basically, the, the same tweet. Incidentally, Pokemon News UK did go and tweet this out. Fan shopping at Pokemon Center will soon receive another opportunity to obtain the Pikachu with Grey Felt Hat promo card. Trainers will receive one Pikachu with Grey Felt Hat promo card with a Pokemon Center order containing Pokemon trading card game products. While supplies last, minimum purchase of £30 in qualifying Pokemon TCG items required, limited to one promo card per order. So there we go. Now, there are several things we need to point out here. The first one is, hey, Wossy, we'll when's that happening? And the answer is, I don't know. I have a, and this is what I, I think you should do if you're waiting like I am. I have a basket, which I believe qualifies because it's got 30 quids worth of TCG stuff in. And I've just got that basket sitting on the Pokemon Center. And then every few minutes, I'm just doing a, a little cheeky refresh. <laughs> and just, you know, seeing if it's going to keep going. And maybe it will and maybe it won't. But I'm doing a little cheeky refresh every couple of minutes, just making sure. And I'm crossing my fingers that in a minute, at some point in the not too distant future, that we actually, you know, I redo it and it suddenly pops up that, hey, Wossy, it's ready. Go, Wossy, go. And then I put my order in and jobs are good. And that's what I'm waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm waiting for. Now, 
in good or bad news, depending how you look at it, it is one per order, not one per household. And I'm actually not a fan of this. I want it to be one per household. And look, I am well aware that there are people out there, including many friends of mine, who want to get multiples of these promos, not to sell them or to flip them or anything stupid like that, who want multiples of this promo because there are more than one person in the household who want the promo. I understand that, and I have a lot of sympathy for those people. And as it stands, to be clear, that is the way it's working. But we all know that if it's not limited to one per household, we are going to get people using bots who are going to be firing off every order they can as fast as they can to try and get as many of these promos as they can. And there are going to be several people that probably end up missing out because people are going to be trying to rinse the website with bots. Now, how well that will work, I don't know. How much stock Pokemon I've got, I don't know. Exactly when this is going up, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm bringing you the best information we have available. I could make stuff up and pretend it's true if you prefer, but that is generally not the way we do things on this channel. So, yes, it is one per order, which means if you put in multiple orders, you will get multiple promos. That almost certainly means it is going to sell out quite a bit faster than it otherwise would. I'm a fan of one per order. But that's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it is. To answer some of your other questions, hey, Wossy, does this mean the Van Gogh stuff is going up? No. No, it's not. The Van Gogh merch is not going back up on the website. We have not been told anything about it going up, at least not that I've seen, and I promise you I am very much paying attention. The announcement today was purely about the promo card. There was nothing in there related to the merchandise there is nothing there it is just solely the promo which is still cool and still awesome because i know an awful lot of people like i know when when the products went up initially i know there were a bunch of people who were ordering the products just because they wanted the promo i wanted the pins i didn't get the pins although i think there is a very lovely person that's hooking me up with the pins which makes me extremely grateful because oh my word these pins are amazing and hopefully I'll get to cast again in the future. And hopefully I'll be rocking some of these pins that are cast in the future. I might just take the whole set of six and just switch them out every round. Why not? That sounds like fun. But no, this stuff isn't going back. Now, the merch inside the museum, we have been told, is going to get a restock. Though we don't have exact information about that. Remember, the only crossover item between the museum gift shop... And the Pokemon Center was the Pikachu plush. Everything else was exclusive to either the museum or to the Pokemon Center online. It was only the plush that straddled the two of them. So no, we are not getting the products back. The products are done and that's very sad. But the one thing this is going to do is this is going to crash the price of the promo. Remember, this is going on. The exhibit at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam is going on until the 7th of January. And we've not been told promo cards have run out. Promo cards should be available at the Van Gogh Museum for almost three months from now, which is brilliant. But obviously not everybody can get over to Amsterdam right now. I was lucky I got over there. It was amazing. But not everybody can get over to Amsterdam. And that's rubbish. So they're making it available online instead. And hopefully this is going to crash the price of the promo. Right now, if I go over on eBay, the promo is selling for a, about a ton. Now, there is actually one here that is $80, which is actually quite brilliant. But the average seems to be about a ton. About $100 is roughly what they're selling for. And you'll find some cheaper, but not everybody is able to get them cheaper right now. It's genuinely disappointing to me because, and look, I'm terribly naive. I get that, all right? I just legitimately love Pokemon. And I do this all day, every day because I legitimately love Pokemon. And when I see a cool promo with this, it, it, it's a promo which needs to be in collections and binders. And people need to be just getting this promo because they love it and it's awesome. Not trying to get multiple copies of it so they can flip it for a small, brief profit. I just, there's something about that that I just really dislike. And for the record, yes, it is selling for that much. Now, the good news is the most recent sale 
was only $70, but the one before that was over $100. It is selling for about that much. I wish we could go back, and we were here a few years ago. A few years ago, cool promos would launch, and the people that wanted them would just go and get them. Now a cool promo launches, and people that don't want it rush out to try and get many of them so they can sell it to the people that do want them at a vastly increased price. It makes me a little bit sad. It is the worst part of the hobby, or at least one of the worst bits of the hobby. But the good news is Pokemon are trying to take the power away from those scalpers. They are making it available when you spend £30 in the US, $30 in the UK on Pokemon TCG products, and I am loving this ladies and gentlemen i am absolutely loving this i don't know exactly when it's going to start but it is orders of 30 dollars or 30 pounds of tcg stuff and it does seem like you've actually got to be tcg stuff not other stuff with a token booster pack i could be wrong about that but the tweets very much seem to sound like it needs to actually be tcg stuff whereas we've seen similar things in the past where it was actually as long as you've got a TCG item, you're good. That does not seem to be the way it is now. I don't know when it will start, but here's the deal. If I see it, I'll tweet it. The video's out there now. You all know it's coming. If I see this happening, I will go and tweet it. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Wossy so you see it. Right, there you go. That's what you need to know. That's the news. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me if you managed to pick up this Pikachu with Grey Felt hat. Tell me how much you want it. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Kanto Royal T, who's been a supporter of us for a long time now and is awesome. So shout out to them for being awesome. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.